Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we have heard just uh, with succinct yet uh, encompassing account of democracy and its, uh, all its related uh, issues. Given that this paper is so excellent, I'm afraid that my uh, comment can offer little contribution. So I regard my five cents just as an attempt uh, to uh, reorganize the emphasis put on to the different key uh, components of the total issue area in the hope that uh, the reorganization can make the already very good uh, paper even better. Well, I said, as I said, it is a reorganization. It is an alternative uh, way of presenting the problematic. Uh, but before I come to that, let me uh, make an observation uh, to the effect that, or in other words, I feel that uh, the paper has given too much coverage, emphasis on uh, democracy, the form, function, etc., meaning, uh, and uh, it is largely a historical analysis. Well, it has its own merit that I will come back later and uh, whether the merit can be challenged. Uh, you talk a lot about democracy and then uh, also uh, a lot about participation. Uh, on the other hand, the issue of citizenship has received much less attention and uh, they even a paucity of discussion about a very important component, solidarity. So my approach started with the advice that uh, we should uh, center the analysis more on citizenship and particularly solidarity. Uh, both are supported by uh, various uh, requirements. Citizenship needs more specification because your title democracy without citizens. And therefore, uh, much more has been to be said about uh, citizenship, its nature, modalities, uh, ways of articulation, etc., etc. And solidarity should be given more attention because it's, it's, it's the theme, it's the main theme of the workshop, inclusive solidarity. Well, if we follow that advice, then we need to especially specify the ontological nature of uh, solidarity and citizenship as well as their interrelationship. Then 
at the end, the, this specification may perhaps uh, shed more light on the question whether real democracy can be attained and how. So let me go to an attempt uh, of some uh, specification. There's already, or much has been said about uh, solidarity in the previous paper we have heard, the culture of solidarity by Professor Hollis. To me, solidarity is a cohesive force of affection, of effect, that is generated by a shared site of social political struggle. So struggle give rise to the need for solidarity among certain group of individuals. And it is, also, it is also generated by a shared imagination of the common fate. Well, the objective of struggle or the concrete, the content of the common fate is an open issue. It could be material interest. It could be uh, very lofty ideas, uh, etc. But anyway, it's an effect, and it provides cohesion through the bind people uh, together uh, for a common effort. On the other hand, when it comes to citizenship. It seems more difficult to me to define. Uh, I would uh, regard it on the one hand as a process, as a process of becoming a social being to overcome the individuality, to overcome self, and to become member of uh, society. But the more common understanding, particularly the legalistic approach to citizenship, is the kind of status of individuals as full and equal members of a community. Articulation of solidarity and the citizenship are both facilitated or handicapped by changing contexts such as endic compositions, diversification, globalization, the regionalization, etc., etc. So context matter for the specific articulation of solidarity and uh, citizenship. Well, I have just dealt with the different conceptualization of solidarity and citizenship, but they share one commonality that has already been touched upon the, again in uh, Hala's paper and in our previous uh, discussions. That is, they share some kind of mechanism or process of bordering. We're talking about border. Yeah. This could be physical, this could be virtual. Yeah. The bordering defines the because of the existence of this bordering, bordering, B-O-R-D-E-R-I-N-G, my English sometimes is not so intelligible, uh, it can therefore uh, result in the inclusive or exclusive 
solidarity or citizenship at the same time. And this is commonalities between the two uh, elements. Solidarity uh, can mean the bond of somebody, but maybe against or in uh, deadly competition, competition with others. And this is particularly evident in the extreme nationalism. Na nationalism is a cri criteria for exclusive solidarity and needs someone as a competitor or as the enemy uh, to survive and to grow. And as with respect to citizenship, an exercise is always need to determine who can as citizen or as a foreigner. So the former is inclusive, the latter is uh, exclusive. Okay. Interrelationship. Solidarity is required for citizenship to work because the former provides a cohesive force or provides affection for individual citizens to feel about the membership and to feel about the common fate. And consequently, solidarity can also facilitate participation in collective actions against the logic of instrumental rationality. The simultaneous existence of inclusive solidarity and inclusive citizenship in a given community can then make democracy real and work. Why and how? I won't have time uh, to uh, finish. But I want to uh, jump to another issue I find very important. Professor Mellory has adopted a historical, political, sociological approach to the study of real or nominal democracy. And that approach seems to me both realistic as well as pessimistic. The key message there is very much we see today, such as the preference of nominal democracy without real meaningful participation, is due to the structure of historical legacy. And uh, we can't imagine any alternative uh, possibly successful scope for real political participation because we're locked into the state system, nation state system. What is a realistic will? <laughs> the given, we, we, we can't change. But that is pessimistic. It is too much trust in the theory or hypothesis of path dependency. Okay. But in order to, to change the world, we, we need the alternative of path theory. There's this path breaking theory. Okay. How can we do that? It would be a big, another issue, of course, that you and me can perhaps discuss <laughs> for uh, many, many more minutes. So let me stop here and leave it perhaps to uh, uh, the, the, the session of discussion so that we may stress out other issues. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <laughs>